stumped in South Haven, Mississippi last month for Republican Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith. But a Democrat campaigning in DeSoto County tonight thinks he can win in a state that usually runs red. That's right, and a new poll shows Hyde-Smith at 36%. Democrat Mike Espy has 28% support, and then Republican Chris McDaniel is at 14. Now, if no one gets above 50% in Tuesday's special election, the two, the top two, that is, will be in a runoff. Espy thinks that may be his opportunity. And Local 24 News reporter Mary Jo Ola is live in our local election headquarters to break this all down. Mary Jo. Yeah, Katina, Democrat Mike Espy is pushing a message of unity. He says he's focused on serving people and not party lines. And now we're coming down to the last few days and um, I, feel, I feel lifted, I feel inspired, I feel pretty good. Democrat Mike Espy capped Friday's trek around DeSoto County, Mississippi by meeting voters for a fish fry in Horn Lake. Dozens of people waited to hear from the former agriculture secretary. After the music was turned down, Espy talked about health care, keeping jobs and college graduates in Mississippi, and working with everyone. Espy is locked in a tight race for U.S. Senate between Republican incumbent Cindy Hyde-Smith and State Senator Chris McDaniel. Even in a state as red as Mississippi, voters say don't count Espy out. Everything uh, he's done in the past, he's done very well. And I'm a firm believer in you have to look at past practice. Mississippi needs a voice in Washington that is going to not roll over for our leadership there. We need somebody that has the integrity. If a good idea comes from the White House, hey, I'm going to vote for it. I'm going to push it as long as it raises Mississippi. And if it's not, then I'm going to do the, the, the opposite. I, I'll oppose it. So, so yes, but I'm saying it doesn't matter what party you are. I'm a Mississippian first. Now, SB winning the Senate seat would be historic. He would be Mississippi's first African-American senator since Reconstruction. Live in the studio, Mary Jaola, Local 24 News.